Welcome on board the Sapura 3000. General information and arrangement of the vessel. The Sapura 3000 is a self-propelled DP deep water construction and pipe laying vessel. It is the most advanced and versatile vessel for conventional and deep water construction activities in this region. With a cruising speed of 8 knots, the Sapura 3000 has an overall length of 151.2 meters, a breadth of 37.8 meters, and a free deck of 2,000 square meters. Sapura 3000 is equipped with a heli deck, which is suited for all helicopters, including the Sikorsky S92. The Sapura 3000 has the capacity to accommodate up to 330 personnel. The following plan will help you familiarize with the vessel's layout. The living quarters are at the superstructure of the vessel, which is located at the forward part of the vessel. The navigation bridge, DP bridge, captain's office, administration office and safety office are located at the navigation deck. The client's office, meeting rooms and several cabins are located at the C deck. The B deck is the accommodation area. The hospital is located at the forecastle deck. At the work deck, you will find the galley, laundry room and the recreation room. The internet cafe, prayer room and gymnasium are located at the A deck. Now, let's look at the overall structure of the Sapura 3000. This is the bow, stern, starboard and port side of the vessel. The vessel is equipped with a mast crane with a lifting capacity of 3,000 short tons and two 40 short ton cranes, each located at starboard and port side. Additionally, the Sapura 3000 is equipped with six pipe Davids with 50 metric tons capacity. The Sapura 3000 is further enhanced with two dedicated work class ROVs. The Sapura 3000 is equipped with S-Lay facility. With a 90 meter stinger and a nine station firing line which includes six welding stations. The freeboard deck houses the beveling station where the firing line and other key components are located. The engine room and thrusters are located at the lowest deck, which is the tank top deck. In addition, the Sapura 3000 is also fitted with a 70 meter J lay tower for deep water subsea installation. Bridge deck. Let's walk through the Sapura 3000 accommodations block. This is the navigation bridge. It's made up of two sections. One is for the vessel's navigation and the other controls the vessel's dynamic positioning system. The administration office is located at the forward bridge deck where you will report when you arrive on board. When you arrive, you will be required to hand in your passport and have your tea card prepared. You will be assigned a cabin number, master station number and lifeboat number. 
The lifeboat and master station numbers are also displayed on the inside of your cabin door. Please memorize these numbers. It is important that you study the vessel plan and layout drawings so that you may understand the vessel's general arrangement. Living Quarters This is the cabin. Once in, please check the condition of the life jacket which is placed on top of your locker. Pull the jacket down over your head. Cross the straps on your back. Adjust and connect in front. Check the straps. Whistle. Light and fluorescent stripes. If the life jacket is defective, please report to the administration office. The vessel is fitted with a number of heavy watertight doors. Please be careful as you enter or pass through the watertight doors. Please hold the handrails when using the stairs. There are a few basic rules to follow inside the living quarters. Ensure that work boots are covered with plastic covers. Flip-flops and other types of footwear are only allowed in the accommodation areas. Hallways must be kept clear of any obstacles. Do not leave your work boots outside your cabin. Smoking is prohibited on the vessel except at the designated areas. Please show your consideration towards your colleagues and do not make loud noises as there might be personnel sleeping. Hazardous and restricted areas. There are several off-limits or restricted areas on board the Sapura 3000. These are the navigation and dynamic positioning bridge the ROV shack, the winch room, the engine room and thrusters, AHU compartment, the chemical store and the paint store. PPE. Now we will demonstrate some of the PPE required on the vessel. Please be reminded that all areas outside of the living quarters areas are considered as work areas. This means that all personnel are required to wear basic PPE while at work areas. Coveralls Safety boots Safety glasses Safety helmets Gloves Additional PPE may be required depending on the nature of your job. These include Work Vest or Personal Flotation Device PFD. Face Shield Welding Mask Respirator Earplugs and Earmuffs Specialized Gloves dusk mask and safety harness when working at height personal flotation device or a work vest is mandatory at all times if you work above water or on the material barge if you are unsure on how to wear any of the PPE correctly ask your supervisor or the safety officer for guidance ISPS code The security of the vessel, personnel and its equipment is a shared responsibility. If you see anything suspicious on or near the vessel, report immediately to the bridge. 
Please understand that if the vessel's security increases to a level higher than level 1, the accommodation doors will be locked down and no personnel are allowed to go outside or open the locked doors. Emergency Response Alarms In an emergency situation, an alarm will sound. There are a few types of emergency alarms on board the Sapura 3000. For your safety and the safety of everyone on board, please ensure that you are able to identify these alarms correctly. Listen carefully to the announcements made through the vessel's PA system. Attention, this is Master Drink. All personnel to master at their respective master station. Fire alarm. That is the vessel's fire alarm. Master alarm. That is the master alarm. Once you hear either alarm, shut down your equipment immediately and proceed to your master station. If you are in the accommodation area, please wear covered or enclosed shoes and find the quickest escape route to your lifeboat. Men overboard alarm. That is the men overboard alarm. When you hear this alarm, immediately look out to the sea and try to spot the men overboard. If you see the victim, point your finger to the victim so that you won't lose sight of the victim. Shout, men overboard, men overboard. until you get men someone's overboard. attention. Men overboard. Men overboard. Men overboard. If you are the one who is responding to the shouts, look for the nearest life ring and throw as close as possible to the men overboard. Alert the bridge of the men overboard. For any emergency, dial the emergency response number 1100. Master Station. There are four master stations on board the Sapura 3000. It is important that you remember your master station. In the event of an emergency, please proceed to your assigned master station. Immediately put on your life jacket. When you reach your station, remove your tea card and hand it over to the coxswain or master checker to indicate your presence. Pay attention and wait for further instructions. The coxswain will identify any personnel who are missing at the master station and will alert the bridge. Please take note that evacuation drills are conducted regularly. Firefighting The Sapura 3000 is equipped with various types of firefighting equipment. In the event of a fire, alert the bridge immediately and activate the fire alarm by breaking the nearest glass panel. If it is safe to do so, proceed to extinguish the fire with the appropriate fire extinguisher. Ensure you are aware of your exit point should you need to evacuate the area. 
We will now proceed to identify the various firefighting system and equipment on board. Fire main hoses and nozzles. Fire hoses are provided throughout the vessel. Fire doors and dampers. Fire doors and dampers are fitted in all machinery and accommodation spaces on board. The fire doors can be shut manually, while dampers can be shut manually or automatically from the bridge. When the fire alarm is raised, the fire doors will close automatically. Please ensure that all doorways are kept clear at all times. Fire Detection System Heat and smoke sensors are located at various points in the accommodation block. When a fire or smoke is detected, an alarm is triggered at the bridge. If you are assigned to the emergency response team, please proceed to your duty station. The rest are to immediately proceed to their allocated fire and muster stations. Helicopter Deck Equipment The helideck is equipped with portable dry powder, foam and CO2 extinguishers and fixed foam system. CO2 Firefighting System A fixed CO2 system is installed in the engine room, forward pump room and the incinerator room. Portable fire extinguishers are located at designated areas. Emergency Escape Breathing Devices an emergency breathing device which contains a limited supply of compressed air is available at certain locations to help you escape in the event of fire emergency. Permit to work The Sapura 3000 operates on a permit to work or PTW system. The Sapura ASAG PTW system is implemented on board to manage and control marine and construction work activities which are not considered routine and or considered potentially hazardous. Some of the work activities that require PTW are hot work, cold work, Activities involving the use of radioactive sources. Maintenance or repair of equipment which requires electrical or mechanical isolation. Working over water. Working in places where machinery may be remotely operated. Diving. Lifting operations. Working or handling explosives. Pressure testing, working at height, operations involving the use of hazardous substances or chemicals. Each PTW has a maximum validity of 12 hours. If the work could not be completed at the end of the shift, the PTW must be revalidated before work can resume. On completion of the task, inform the nominated responsible person or NRP. The NRP will verify that the site and equipment are restored to a safe condition before closing the permit. If in doubt, stop and ask for assistance. T-Card System The T-Card system is used to track and monitor access of personnel on board should an emergency evacuation is required. You will be issued a T-card which must be deposited at the T-card rack upon entry to the vessel. T-card system is also used for tracking personnel going on board adjacent structures and cargo barges. 
hazardous areas. For our safety, warning signs and barricades are placed throughout the vessel to alert personnel of hazardous areas and high-risk operations. Do not pass through, cross over or remove the barricades. Adhere to the warning signs at all times. Working on deck Certain work areas and structures such as cranes, walkways and work platforms are potential high-risk areas. Before you access these areas, please obtain approval from the person in charge. Pre-shift briefing and toolbox talk system Pre-shift briefings are conducted before the start of the shift and must be attended by the supervisor and the crew involved. Additionally, toolbox talks are conducted before embarking on a work task. Toolbox talk is also part of the HIRA process. At the pre-shift briefings and toolbox talks, personnel will be briefed on the individual tasks and any hazards that might be encountered and the potential effects their work may have on the safety of others. Job Safety Analysis JSA, and Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment HIRA. The vessel's Job Safety Analysis or JSA process supports the overall risk management efforts for activities requiring safety reviews at JSA level. For your reference, each GSA has been entered into the vessel's GSA register. Hard copies are available on the PTW board at the bridge. HIRAs are conducted with the aim of identifying all hazards and the associated risks and putting in place measures to reduce the risk to ALAP or a level which is as low as reasonably practicable. Smoking As stipulated in the Sapura ASAG No Smoking Policy, smoking is strictly prohibited on board Sapura 3000 except at designated areas. If you are smoking, do not throw cigarette butts overboard. Remember to extinguish the cigarette butt in the ashtrays provided. You see you act. You see you act is a safety program which everyone on board should participate in. You have an obligation to stop any unsafe act or condition that you may see. Should you notice anyone on board behaving or working in an unsafe manner, approach the person and discuss on how to perform it safely. If you are unable to correct it, consult your supervisor. Record your observation of the unsafe act or condition by filling in a UCU Act card and drop it in the UCUA box or hand it in to the safety officer. Incidents reporting Sapura Acer G promotes an open reporting culture. All incidents, accidents and injuries must be reported to the vessel management to ensure that they are managed and investigated to prevent recurrence. Additionally, any damaged equipment, spills and near-miss incidents must also be reported to your supervisor or the safety officer. Medical and First Aid A hospital is located at the forecastle deck with a 24-hour medic on duty. In addition, First aid kits are provided at various locations on the vessel. Helicopter operations 
If you are leaving the vessel by helicopter, please provide the necessary documents to administration office. All personnel must undertake a helicopter safety briefing prior to boarding. Now, it's time to meet your captain. Welcome on board. I'm your captain. You have just watched the Sapura 3000 safety induction video. If there's anything you don't understand, you can see me or your supervisor. Remember, safety is everybody's responsibility. Do it safely or not at all.